Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Recaps. Today I'm going to be explaining a 2021 Thai horror mystery film titled, The Whole Truth. The movie starts off with a famous Korean quote about how the truth is similar to a hole in the wall. It's always been there but we just can't see it until fate shines some light on it. That's when we start to wonder how long the darkness has been kept a secret. The movie is based on the dark lies a cute little family has been hiding until it's all revealed due to a hole in the wall. Mai, a gorgeous mom of two, has just received a promotion at work and can't wait to celebrate with her daughter Pim and son Putt. She breaks the news to them on the way to school and they plan a fancy dinner late that evening. Pim is beautiful, smart, and captain of the cheerleading team. Putt on the other hand is a shy nerdy child who has a disability and needs to walk with leg support. He also doesn't have any friends at school and is often bullied, mostly by his so-called friend Fame, who keeps blackmailing him. Apparently, he has a video he keeps harassing Putt with as an excuse to come to the house and spy on Pim, especially as she changes clothes. Pim hates the man's guts and when Fame tries to force himself inside her room, she tricks him and injures his foot. An angry Fame warns Putt to get his sister to agree to go on a date with him or else he threatens to circulate the video he took of her showering at the gym. At work, Mai is given more responsibilities and has to stay back late to attend an important meeting. She calls up Pim and cancels their celebratory dinner plan so the kids do their homework and end up feasting on some cup noodles. As Mai leaves the office, we see that it's pouring down heavily. Distracted by a call, she unintentionally drives in the wrong lane and meets with a terrible accident. A few hours later, Pim is woken up by a knock on the door. As she goes to check it out, we see a strange old man claiming to be her grandfather. He does know her mother's name as well as Pim's and Putt's but the kids don't seem to recognize him. He takes them to see their mother at the hospital where the doctor informs them that Mai has slipped into a coma and there was no way of knowing if or when she would awaken. Their grandfather insists they come reside with him and their grandmother. The old woman at their house seems to be suffering from dementia. She recognizes Pim but mistakenly calls Putt, Crit, which is suspicious but is justified due to her illness. The kids pack up their things and head to their house. They find pictures of their mother in the room they are given, although most of her photos are old, blemished and torn. Worried about their mother, they don't think much of this and head off to bed. Early next morning, the kids come downstairs to find a breakfast of sunny side-ups, sausages and toast but only Putt is given a large glass of milk. The old man requests the children to be patient with their grandmother and to play along with her as she is suffering from dementia and may speak out of order from time to time. After a brief visit to the hospital, the kids are forced to move into their grandparents' house for a little longer. That evening, Putt notices a hole in the wall. When he looks through it, he sees the house next door which seems to be a dark creepy abandoned place. He informs his sister about the hole and after dinner, they let their grandfather know that the house needs some repairs. When the old folks look at the wall, they see no hole at all which the kids find weird. The old man makes a big fuss about how the kids are playing a prank on them and heads off to his room. The grandmother keeps looking at a corner where there was once a clock hanging evident by the outline left over and she is somehow able to tell the time accurately. That night the kids wonder if they are really their grandparents as their mom never mentioned them and there's definitely something creepy going on in the house. The next morning, when Putt looks at the wall, the hole seems to have magically disappeared making the kids wonder if it was actually just their imagination. Putt is once again served a large glass of milk and they head off to school. At school, Pim is informed that she could win the place of the head captain of the cheerleaders again although there will be an election. Her friend Pau tells her that she is sure to win as no one on the team likes her opponent. Putt is bullied by Fame again who invites himself into his grandparents' house. Pim is upset to see her brother as a victim of bullying, but there's not much she can do about it since her mom is still in the hospital. That evening, Fame comes over to their place to harass Pim again. Putt hears screeching noises and goes to look into the hole. This time he sees a little black girl with a disfigured face vomiting blood all over. Fame thinks he's being pranked as he doesn't see any hole but still tries to look through. Suddenly, his face is bashed into the wall and he's left with a bloody nose. He blames Putt and promises to leak the video and leaves the house, forgetting his phone on the couch. Pim comes to know why her brother has been putting up with Fame. 
She watches the video and starts feeling frightened and humiliated. As they clean up the blood, their grandmother walks in and has a panic attack but the kids manage to calm her down. That night, they wake up to loud screaming. When they go to check up on it, their grandmother is seen rolling on the floor having one of her episodes. The next day, she tells the kids not to upset their grandfather by making up stories about holes in the wall. Their grandfather has woken up early in the morning and has gone to see the police. Apparently, he was in the force too and so uses his connections to find out who was the one who caused the accident which caused Mai to go into a coma. When he learns it's a young man whose father is a prominent figure in politics, he vows revenge. He is told that the young man claimed that his friend had caused the accident but the old man is certain that he's taking the fall for the rich kid. The following evening, Pim finds Putt's phone and goes through it. She is shocked at what she finds but is suddenly distracted by loud noises again. This time when they look through the hole, we see a girl dragging herself across the floor and a man passed out drunk on the couch who isn't aware of what is happening in front of him. When they look through it again, the girl is holding a baby and starts puking blood all over the little child. The siblings figure out that it's not the next door house as it's nighttime through the hole and wonder if what they are seeing are ghosts. Putt comes up with a different theory. He believes it is a wormhole and what they are viewing is an event from the past. They realize that the room is the same one as their grandparents' living room and believe that some horrific incident must have taken place in this very house. That night, Pat has a nightmare about the girl being in the room. He freaks out, but they don't find anything. The next morning, he wakes up with a high fever and blood all over his clothes. He stays back home, and is forced to drink milk again. At school, it is decided that Pim will be captain. After winning, Pim walks aside and then confronts Pau publicly for sabotaging her chances to become captain. Turns out, it was her friend Pau who had made the video and sent it to fame so he could blackmail Pim which would make her want to not run for captain anymore. Pau admits she did all this because she was sick of Pim being pretty and acting nice. She states that no one actually likes Pim. With friends like these, who needs enemies? The admission is made in front of the coach who punishes Pau and tells her she already knew about this as Pim had shown her the video and messages and the truth was finally out. At home, Putt isn't getting better. The kids look through the hole again and see the girl crawling on the floor towards them with blood all over. They freak out and so their grandfather blocks the hole with a cabinet. He then goes out of the house and stalks the perpetrator. As he's driving through a tunnel, he is stopped. The young man gets out of the car only for the old man to attack him and burn him alive. On the other hand, Mai finally wakes up from her coma. When she is informed by the doctor that her kids are with their grandparents, she panics and runs away from the hospital. As the kids sleep, they are awoken by a loud bang. The cabinet has been destroyed and the kids start to clean up the mess. That's when they hear a loud screeching from the next door house and the grandmother confesses that she sees the hole too but her husband had been giving her pills to suppress the ghostly visions he said were hallucinations. As they look through it, we see the whole family, including their young mom and dad. The truth was that Mai was married to a man named Crit who was an artist and didn't earn much. They had a daughter, Pinya, who had a deformed face. One day, when no one was at home, Pinya, who was sick, wanted to play hide and seek with her father. Crit was drinking at that time but still agreed to play. Pinya goes to hide in the space under the stairs. She was in there for too long and drank rat poison. She cried and vomited blood but Crit didn't help her as he was already passed out drunk. When Mai returned with baby Pim and saw Pinya on the floor, she breaks down. Her parents come in and blame Crit for being irresponsible. In the next scene, there's a gunshot heard and Crit falls to his death. Turns out, the hole in the wall was caused by the bullet passing through Crit's head and into the wall. Mai demands to know from her father how Crit ended up with the gun in his hand. At this point, it seems like she's certain that her father actually shot Crit and made it look like a suicide after finding Pinya dead. Just then Putt pukes up blood all over the dining table. He is once again forced to drink the milk but is suddenly interrupted by their mom. Mai confronts her parents and wants to take her children away from them. Pim puts together the fact that her grandmother has been too insistent on Putt drinking milk and picks up the glass and threatens to drink it. Her grandmother discourages her and the glass is flung across the room by the ghost girl. Looks like Pinya wanted her brother Putt to die too lol. 
Another horrific truth is finally revealed. The grandmother had been poisoning her grandchildren whom she thought were unworthy of her affections because they were not normal. Pinya had a disfigured face and Putt was a cripple. She tells them how her daughter Mai was perfect but she married a useless man like Crit and then produced deformed children that she wanted to get rid of. Mai is horrified to learn that her mother had poisoned Pinya and was poisoning Putt. She wants to leave again and warns her parents to never go near her children. The grandparents try to stop Mai but are confronted by the ghosts of Pinya and the young man who was burned alive. That night, the old man gets a call from his associate that it was indeed the friend who ran over his daughter as they finally received the dash cam footage. Shocked and frightened, he suddenly hears screams. Pinya finally came close to her grandmother and out of revenge ended her life. When he finds his wife's body on the floor, he does the unthinkable out of guilt. The toxic family has finally ended, or has it? The movie ends as we watch Mai and the kids recover, she shows them a picture of their dad and the final truth is revealed to the audience. The old man was mad at Crit, but it was Mai who impulsively shot her husband after he failed to take care of Pinya. That's all folks, thank you for watching, if you like the video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.